Representative Madison Cawthorn is fighting through a series of missteps and scandals. And tonight could be the night that we find out if he will remain in his congressional seat. A Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger live tonight in the mountains in Hendersonville outside of Cawthorn's campaign headquarters. Derek, how is it looking there tonight? Well, to say the least, this is kind of the calm before the storm. We've started noticing some of the supporters coming in, even though the party itself does not get underway until the polls close at 730. But again, a couple of people started to come in, and the mood here, at least so far, seems to be at least somewhat positive among the people in the Cawthorn camp here. Now, we should mention, we've been out uh, around Hendersonville most of the day and have noticed a lot of campaign signs around here, a concerted effort to get out the vote. And we've seen numerous campaign signs all over the town here and on their way and even lighting up the digital billboards. There are a significant number of local races that people will be watching here, but the NC-11 race is one that everyone is watching. Queen City News has been telling you about the spotlight on the congressional race here, uh, specifically on the Republican primary, where Madison Cawthorn is fighting to keep his seat tonight. Now, over the last several weeks, there have been a series of stories, everything from uh, driving issues to uh, those uh, the videos and the pictures that have come out, in addition to issues with uh, taking gun to not only Asheville, but Charlotte Airport. Going into the polls closing, we know NC-11 has early vote in more than other districts across the state, but how how this is panning out, we literally will not know for another hour or so. Again, we need to be uh, at least somewhat guarded here in what we're saying here. The Cawthorn camp says they are expecting a win tonight, but the question is how big of a win he's going to get. And we'll be keeping an eye on that, and we'll let you know what happens. For now, we're live in Hendersonville. Derek Dellinger, Queen City News. Yeah, he's got seven uh, challengers tonight, and the big thing to watch for is getting over that 30% threshold. Yes. Derek, thanks.